What's going on everyone? My name is Brandon Hainline. Now, if you don't know the difference between four high auto and four high part-time, make sure you keep watching because you're about to find out. All right, guys, a lot of people don't realize there is a difference between the two, four high auto and four high part-time. We're going to take a look at that right here. And as you can see, there is you have your two-wheel drive here. Okay, you can pull it down into four high auto. See right there? And then you can also switch it over here to four high part-time. Now, obviously, both of them are four-wheel drive, but I'm here to educate you on what is the difference between the two. So, let's get started. Now, if you want my personal opinion, I use four high auto all the time, okay? It never goes into two wheel drive. It's always in four high auto. When I do go off road, I actually throw it into four high part time. Now, the reason being for this, if you've ever had the four by E in two wheel drive and then four high auto, you can tell there is a huge, huge acceleration difference, okay? There's some programming that they've done to uh, the computers that when you put it in four high auto, all right? This thing has got a lot more pep to it, all right? Now, when I did my drag racing video, I did use the 4 High Auto, so check that out. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link up in the top corner. Now, what actually happens to the Jeep when you pull it down in the 4 High Auto? I'm talking about mechanically, though, what happens. So what happens is you pull it down the 4 High Auto, the transfer case actually switches gears in the transfer case, and then allows the torque to be distributed between the front and the rear wheels, all right? So now the vehicle is honestly in an all-wheel drive mode, kind of, all right? So the vehicle is being propelled by all four wheels. Now, what is the difference between part-time? This is the difference. We switch it over to part-time, and what happens is that transfer case switches another gear in the transfer case, and now the drive shaft, okay, is locked up. The drive shaft front and rear are locked. So in four high part time, all right, the front wheels and the rear wheels are spinning at the same speed. That is the difference, okay? Four high auto, the front wheels can spin at a higher speed than the rear wheels, okay? Whichever one has the most traction, it's going to go to, all right? But part time, it's going to distribute it evenly, okay? The drive shafts are now locked, they're turning at the same speed, the front wheels rear wheels are turning at the same speed. Now here I'm going to demonstrate the difference between the two wheel drive four high auto and the four high part time. We're going to take the Jeep, we're going to accelerate, we're going to put it in slow motion, we're going to watch the tires and see the difference. So this test is going to be done in two wheel drive. I'm going to go ahead and put it in drive. Now I am going to turn off the um, traction control just so you can see what happens better, okay? All right, traction control is off. Now I'm going to give it a little power break so you can kind of see what happens here. Now if you look closely, you're going to see the rear wheels spinning because that's the only thing propelling the vehicle because we're in two-wheel drive. All right, so now I'm going to go into four high auto. All right, we're going to see what happens in four high auto. I'm going to do the exact same thing. <clears throat> We've got the traction control off. We're going to give it a little bit of power break. Now that we're in four high auto, I want you to take a close look at the front wheels. You're going to see them spinning faster than the rear wheels. Okay, so what's happening here is the transfer case is splitting the torque between the front and rear wheels. Let's look at that one more time. Spinning in the front there, that's the difference between four high auto and four high part time. They can run at different speeds. All right, now let's check out four high part time. Check this out. We're going to go over to part time now. All right, switching over to part-time, still traction control is off. I'm gonna put it in drive, gonna we'll do the exact same thing. Now let's go ahead and give it some power brake and look at these front and rear tires together. They're spinning at the same speed. That's what makes part-time so beautiful off-road. Let's look at this one more time. Now if you look closely, they both are spinning the exact same speed. That's because that transfer case has locked in that front and rear drive shaft. So as you can see there in that demonstration, what we had is the two-wheel drive rear wheels spun only for high auto the actual front tires spun faster than the rear tires okay and then for high part-time you saw the wheels spin the exact same speed that's the difference okay so make sure that you understand for high auto you can drive anytime anywhere in that uh, selection okay you can drive rain sleet snow pavement whatever all right and then also in 
part-time, you're only going to be able to drive on loose surfaces. So guys, I hope that you understand this a little bit better and I make things a little bit clearer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're smarter now than you were when you started this video. Have a great day.